Hey, good morning, guys. This is Coach Bill with Bill Mabry Online Coaching and Team Alcaviva, uh, the, the, the ionization device that produces the healthiest water on the planet. Guys, um, I told you in a few videos in the last few weeks, actually, I've been talking to you about the contamination or the toxic chemicals in our drinking water for the last few years. And just recently, in the last couple of years, there's been a lot of attention uh, coming to or talking about a particular toxic chemical known as uh, PFAS. Now, PFAS is a very, very dangerous toxic chemical that the EPA has now been bringing up since 2021, but in 2023 and 2022, those reports are escalating on how dangerous this toxic chemical is. And what it is, it's actually a byproduct from DuPont manufacturing their products. And the sad thing is I just got a new report today. I got a new updated report today that actually explains where it's coming from, how long it's been in our water, which has actually been in our water since 1950. Guys, in 1986, the state of Ohio actually sued DuPont because they had enough evidence showing that this toxic chemical has been linked to many medical issues like cancer. So this is nothing new, but the problem is the public is not being told this. Well, this is becoming so concerning with the EPA and other organizations, they are bringing it up even more now because they have enough evidence. Now, let me explain to you or let me tell you some of the organizations that are actually have been researching this for a long time now. And now they're publicizing the organizations that have actually come, come up with the evidence. And so here are so, just a few of the organizations. First of all, the EPA, probably the number one. Uh, the immune tox, uh, tox, toxicologist at East Carolina University. They've been re researching it. In 2022, a report from the National Academies of Science, Engineering, and Medicine. They've been doing the research on it, and they are now publicizing their re reports. Uh, PFAS, this is out, right out of the article. PFAS at the University of Rhode Island. That's another one. And the title of their research is actually the toxic chemical. PFAS Project Lab at Northwestern U University. So you, you could see that there's a lot of concern about this very toxic, this very dangerous toxic chemicals. And the problem is what they found is the particles are so small that even a reverse osmosis devices that are under your sinks aren't taking it out. That's the concern. Now, they have so much new evidence, and that's why they're publicizing it. And this is the evidence that they have found. The evidence for these, these effects is strong enough. This is right out of the article, not me. It's strong enough that the National Academies reported re recommends that doctors do additional screening for thyroid issues, cholesterol imbalances, kidney and the bowel disease, ultra uh, 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 colitis, all those <laughs> stomach issues. For the re for the most exposed, cholesterol checks should start in children as young as two years old. This is crazy. This is shows that this toxic chemical is so dangerous that these these organizations are suggesting that children be checked to make sure that they don't have the side effects from this at two years old. How crazy is that? Signs of testicular cancer, um, ulcerative colitis need to be assessed 
starting at the age of 15. So if your young child has some kind of a medical issue, they're suggesting that they should be tested to see if they have large amounts of this uh, dangerous toxic chemical, PFAS. Now, guys, they have enough evidence to show that this chemical that's in our source water is also linked to many different types of cancer. This is not a, guys, this is, this is not a, uh, this is not fake news. I, I actually gave you guys some news medias that have been talking about this. There's these organizations are now popping up all the time. Like I said, I got this article just today, this morning, because there are other organizations that have been testing for this toxic chemical and how it affects the human body in the last few years. And they're coming up with enough evidence to actually publish what they're finding. Now, there is a solution, guys. And the solution is you got to have a device that can be hooked up to your kitchen sink that has two eternal filters that will actually, that have been certified, an EPA certified third party lab test that actually shows that the internal filters are taking out. 99.9% of the most dangerous toxic chemicals, including, again, including PFAS. Guys, if you go to my YouTube channel, Bill Mabry Coaching, I will, I will actually put this up in my YouTube channel. You can go to the description section. I will put a link in there that actually will give you the EPA certified third-party lab test that's going to show you that the PFAS is non-detectable after it's gone through these two internal filters. These are two new eternal filters that are actually uh, a new technology that actually has a EPA certified third-party lab test showing that, they're, that that particular and other very dangerous toxic chemicals are being taken out of the source water as it goes through the device. So when you drink the healthiest water on the planet that has a very, very powerful antioxidant to it, you're not drinking toxic chemicals along with that it, healthy water like most ionizers out there are not taking out those toxic chemicals. And I ain't even talking about the number one selling device on the market today, which is the Enagic, only has one filter in it. It's going to cost you $120 every six months, and all it does is take out chlorine. That's it. It does not have an EPA certified third-party lab test showing that it takes out all the most all the dangerous toxic chemicals. And even the pre-filters that they add to those devices. Very simple. Ask the company to send you an EPA certified third-party lab test showing you that it takes out 99.9% of the most toxic, dangerous chemicals. You won't get one because they don't do that. You have to have a device like the Alcaviva device that actually takes those chemicals out. Guys, I'm praying that I'm, I can touch the hearts of a few families out there that will take this seriously and change their family source of water so that they will not be consuming those toxic chemicals because cancer and other d diseases do not happen overnight. They happen over time. And if you understand the physiology of the body at the cellular level, then you would know that those toxic chemicals are collecting at your cells at the cellular level. And over time, they're going to cause damage to those cells. And that's how these medical issues start. So guys, you can go to my team, alcaviva.com forward slash drink nature's water forward slash click on get started you're going to have some short videos that's going to show you the power of hydrogen h2 which is hydrogen rich water 
And you're also going to get the report of the most dangerous toxic chemicals that are being taken out of the, your source water when it goes through the two internal filters. Also, you can put in your zip code and find out what toxic chemicals are the highest in your source water, and most likely it's arsenic. And arsenic is also linked to cancer. There's plenty of evidence on that. Guys, don't blow this off. Your family deserves to be drinking the healthiest water on the planet to help prevent many of today's medical issues. Hope you guys have a great day. Bye.